What is happening guys? Welcome back. So as you can see by the thumbnail and title of this video, yet again, we are back on the T5. And in this episode, we're gonna get sorting out the audio equipment in the van. So at the moment, the way we bought the van, we're rocking this old school Alpine head unit and we've got a Parrot um, hands-free system fitted in. All works, all does what it needs to do. It's just a bit old, so we need to really upgrade it. And thankfully, I got contacted by my good friends at Car Electronics Leicester a few months ago saying, seeing you bought the van, we want to get involved. Can we help you out with some audio equipment for the van? So I jumped at that one. Um, back and forth, back and forth. We've decided on um, what brands we're going for. Um, got them sat on the floor here, but we'll show them in a little bit. We are actually going to be heading over to Car Electronics to get all this lot fitted. I've already done a little bit of... Um, wiring if you like so we've pulled the speaker cables in because we're going to be putting some speakers in the back we've pulled the reverse camera um cable in to the because from when we fitted the tailgate that is all in there we pulled the power from the rear lights up so that we can power the camera via the reverse lights or we might put them on the side lights just so that we can have it on a little bit more i'm not sure how it works with the head unit we'll speak to paul about that one um we need to run obviously front speaker cables we've already ran the um power kit for the sub and for the amp that are going to go under the driver's seat and one more thing that we need to do before we go is we need to sort out sound in these doors because really tinny we want it to be nice and solid so we need to strip this down door card off we need to support the window take all the gubbins out of the door and get some sand deadening on the outer skin and then we'll put a bit of sand deadening on the silver inner skin as well. So, GoPro on, let's get this done. So that door is sand dead now we've covered all of that outer skin much better so we'll get this back on now and we'll chuck a few bits on this just on the bigger areas just to try and stop any of the tinniness There we go, door of sand end and back together. Now we didn't go crazy with putting it on the silver panel. We just sort of put it on the bigger area, areas just to try and dampen it a little bit. But that's done and nice and sand end. So we need to grab all the audio equipment, grab some uh, filming equipment and jump in and head on down to Car Electronics Leicester. Right, here we are, down at Car Electronics Leicester. Paul has already made a start inside and He's very excited by the amount of wiring that is behind the dashboard from the parrot kit and all of that. It is an absolute mess. But we've got the van inside Car Electronics Workshop. And back in the day, this place was absolutely dancing with the best Max Power era cars going. And this one here worked on Hello. quite a lot of them. Probably as much wire as this friend talking. <laughs> back in the glory day. So yeah, this is the mess that was i couldn't in, in I, every side of it don't we? yeah i had it apart a couple of times and tried to tidy it up behind it and you couldn't get everything in the right place but anyway right we're gonna get all that lot out and make a start on fitting the new equipment so i'll get all the new stuff out and show you what we're going to be fitting so here is the equipment that is going to be going in so we spoke about this already and this is the reversing camera that we're going to be fitting into the tailgate we've already ran the cabling for this um, a little earlier and we've gone for 
this nice little neat one that's going to sit up under the um, the plinth by the number plate, nicely angled down. We've got infrared as well for night vision. So yeah, cracking little bit of kit. Rings to fit the speakers, which are over here. We've got a Pioneer DSPH DA360 DAB head unit. Massive thank you to Pioneer for sending us this over. Cracking bit of kit, can't wait to get that in. It's better than the one that's in there. Uh, and Phoenix Gold have supplied us with some rear speakers that we can't fit yet because we've got to get the camper interior fitted and um, yeah, we'll keep them and we'll fit them ourselves at a later date. We've got an under seat uh, subwoofer, so this is a active sub, so it's an all-in-one amp and sub, um, real slim line. It's only 70 mil tall, 210 mil wide, 290 mil long. So that'll fit under the driver's seat. And then we've got these components for the front. So the speakers will go in other sort of uh, subs, if you like, will go in the doors, and then these tweeters will go into the dashboard, which all is a dab and with a 3D printer. He's printed these brackets up. Look at that. He even put the logo in them. So the tweeters fit in these, and then these just fix into factory holes in the dashboard. So yeah, a massive, massive thank you to Car Electronics, Pioneer, and Phoenix Gold for supplying us with some new equipment for the van to bring it up to 2022 spec. Right, can't let Paul have all the fun. Should we get involved and start ripping some stuff out and uh, yeah, get all the new exciting stuff in. So original front speakers are off. They are screwed onto the surround, but then this part is riveted onto the door, which is via these holes just here, which is what Paul's having fun getting out at the minute. But they do come out with a bit of perseverance. So while I've been looking at getting those off, what I've done is come in here and removed the number plate plinth on the tailgate, which is by, you've got, I think one, two, three, four fixings. This one is damaged and the plinth is broken. Um, to gain access in a bit, I've removed the handle from there, which is on, these little clippy bits down here so it just makes it a bit easier uh, 10 mil bolts then that pulls off and i have just made a mark on it and we're going to look at drilling the hole for the camera to go in so while i've been faffing around with adding more cables to the tailgate which i should have thought about before um paul has made a lot of progress we've got Speakers are in, look at that with a little logo in. The tweeters are in the dashboard. Speakers are now mounted in the door, so you've got these new adapter rings which basically space it all forward because the uh, magnet and everything on these speakers is quite deep. And if you didn't do that and you just put that onto the um, original speaker ring, which would be down here and flush, um, your window would go down, hit the back of the speaker, and yeah, it would cause all sorts of problems. So these rings space it out. So you don't have that problem. It's on with the new of the door now. So those speakers will then go in and then the crossovers, because you have one feed in from the head unit to the crossovers, wherever they are, somewhere in here. These here, you have one feed in from the head unit and then you have, uh, yeah, the woofer and the tweeter. So that goes off to the speaker that's in the door and that goes off to the tweeter that's in the dash. And that splits your signal, so you get your mid and high? Yes, correct. There you go, right. mid and high. So yeah. pretend, I, pretend I know what I'm talking about. And that splits the signal so that you get basically the bass and then the vocal coming out through the tweeter. So yeah, catch back in a minute when they've finished that bit and hopefully I can get this wide in to permanent power. So what we've decided to do, which why I've had, had to add another cable is, I want to be able to press the camera button on the head unit and be able to see through the camera on the tailgate when you're driving along. If I've got a, tra a trailer hooked up, for some reason I like to be able to see the hitch as I'm driving along. Don't know why. Um, so we've added another feed in. So you've got one feed which will be from basically, so when you turn the side lights on, the camera is permanently active. And then you've also got another wire, which when you put it into reverse, it'll bring it up on the head unit automatically. So get this light out, work out what's what, pull the cable through, connect them up. 
All right, progress update. I have got the wiring sorted for the permanent and reverse feed, which are nice and neatly in this loom. So we've basically pulled them through this grommet through the hole in with the main loom. We've cut a bit of the sheathing back on number one and number five, and I think number five uh, was the reverse and one was permanent. Um, cut a little bit back, soldered the cables on, a little bit of tape around each join, and then taped the whole loom back together. And that's falling off. Uh, we'll put all that back together in a minute. Nothing really else has changed up here. This is ready just to test. And then coming down here, we've got speaker or the, the subwoofer, if you like, in the door. Tweeter is up there on the dash. And I was working on getting the crossovers in, so the speaker cables in and out to everywhere they need to be. Wiring, I think we showed you, this has all been tidied up. So all that lot that's down there, that was all behind the dashboard. And now all we've got is that one plug. It's the new stereo we'll go into. Hopefully with all of that wiring, but it'll be much, much neater and a lot, lot less of it. So catch back in a minute when that's all done. Crossovers are in and wired. These are going to go behind the dash here. I'm going to probably make a bracket for them, but for now, we'll just put them behind there. Head unit is going in for a test fire. All the wiring is sorted out and wiring. We've got DAB aerial up here on the windscreen. We've got a new microphone up here for the hands-free. We've got coming along here, down and across the wire for the reverse camera, which is all plugged in and working. We've got a wire here to go in, or USB to go in, which will be a charging port that'll be in the glove box. Progress has been made. Stereo is all in and on, and the front speakers have been working. Uh, we've got the under seat sub is sat down there. All the wiring is done for that and in place and correct. I've very dodgily, because I forgot the terminals and wire and everything, we've very dodgily wired up the leisure battery because the leisure battery is what powers the underseat sub. Just temporarily so we can see and sound is all like. So yeah, let's have a look what it sounds like. If we get radio reception. If we get radio reception. And then we can. We'll go with Bluetooth. Yeah, we'll, we might come back in the morning and show you it all again, because it's about 11 o'clock and <laughs> we're all very tired, but it's in and working. So here we are about a week and a bit later after we we're at Car Electronics back in the workshop. As ever, we've had many, many other things going on. I've sat editing the video and I apologise if it's a little bit scrappy and we didn't really film a lot with the GoPro or whatever. Um, it took a bit longer than we expected, which these things always do. Um, and I felt bad being there or having them guys being there so late. We didn't leave there until about quarter past, half past 11. Um, Bearing in mind they've been there since like half six, seven o'clock in the morning. I did feel a little bit bad, but we've got everything fitted and in. So reversing camera is up there, which actually does work quite well. Wiring's all in for that. Um, speed cables for the rear speakers are in, but we discussed it and we can't put them in because there's a box that sits here, which is to do with the pop top, which I've got removed at the minute for running cables. Um, and basically we're gonna put the speakers in that box but I want them to be equal distance from that side and then from the camper unit. And we've not got the camper unit yet, so we can't really fit those in. Um, I've showed you the ones in the doors. So we've got, you can see them down there. We've got the tweeters in the doors of the DAC logo. And then coming here, we've got the Phoenix Gold woofers in the door. And then down under the driver's seat, I'll try and pull it out, we've got the eight inch under seat active subwoofer is what they're called so it's an all-in-one little thing um this one is a fully metal enclosure most of them are usually plastic um so it's one of the better ones and here is the head unit which is a pioneer sph da 360 dab so a dab radio You've got normal FM, AM radio, Apple CarPlay, and this head unit is actually wireless Apple CarPlay, so you don't have to have your phone plugged in. Android Auto, I'm not sure about. Phone, Bluetooth audio, 
uh, iPod, USB, and if we scroll across, got a rear view camera, which is, yeah, not a bad picture, really good view, decent angle as well. So, that is that. And it's a brilliant little head unit. Having the wireless CarPlay is amazing. So, we can't go playing any actual music. We need to be playing the copyright free stuff that we play in all of the videos. So, I've got the uh, outro song loaded up here. So, we'll shut the doors and we'll crank this on. Show you what it sounds like. Right, laptop's here. Let's see what it sounds like. Now, you're not going to go winning any sound off competitions with it because it is only a little eight inch sub. But for what it is, the packaging of it, it's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's yeah, it's exactly what you need for just a, a camper that you're not going to go trying to win sound off competitions and everything. We've got a bit more of a drum and bassy track. Sounds absolutely mega and does the job exactly the way that we wanted it to. So I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Paul and Craig of Car Electronics Leicester for putting this all together and for taking the time out of their busy day and schedule to fit it all for me. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. A massive thank you to Pioneer for supplying us with the head unit and a massive thank you to Phoenix Gold for supplying us with the speakers and the subwoofer that is under the seat as well blows me away that people want to work with me and uh, sponsor this van build. It's going to be an absolutely amazing van when it is finished. So with that said, Car Electronics have put together a package for, I think he's put a package together for everything, including the head unit, and he's put a package together for the speakers and then a package for the head unit as well. Um, all the links to everything and to everyone's social medias are in the description. So that's that one done. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Enjoy.